recess, typically a quiet time for lawmakers to get away from the Capitol and catch up with their constituents and their home districts and states. But one month into the Trump administration, congressional town halls being held nationwide the last few days have become hotbeds of protest. Many leaders just not showing up, while others might wish they had not shown up. Among them, in heated town halls, two were held today, one in Hilliard, one in Columbus. NBC 4's Courtney Yoon joining us live now from the first Unitarian Universalist Church where District 12's town hall was held tonight. Courtney? Colleen, Mike, the town hall here was packed. People were standing outside of the church here trying to listen to the speakers inside. Keep your promise! Keep your promise! Amanda Lynn Reese was one of the many speakers concerned about the repeal of the Affordable Care Act at District 12's town hall. It will be detrimental to your community if it's gone. Please help us. Reese is a cancer patient who's in remission now, but still needs medications to stay alive. She says without ACA, she won't be able to afford it. If the ACA is repealed without some sort of um, plan in place to protect people with pre-existing conditions, um, I will probably survive a year to two years at best without my medications. Organizers here say they asked U.S. Representative Pat T. Berry to come and hear their concerns. A spokeswoman for T. Berry says he had scheduled back-to-back -back meetings with constituents to discuss health care reform during the past several weeks in his central Ohio office. She said, quote, these are important opportunities for Representative T. Berry to listen to their concerns, respond to them directly, and engage in a constructive conversation. Organizers here had a cardboard cutout of T. Berry displayed on stage during the town Hall. In Hilliard, organizers at another town hall had a cutout of U.S. Representative Steve Stivers. We made every effort uh, to try to get him to come. And granted, it, there was a granted there was only about a week that that uh, he did get the invitation. But still, we are the people that he is serving in government, and we demand an opportunity to be heard. Congressman Stiver's office released this statement saying, quote, he wants to have a constructive conversation with his constituents. However, tonight's event was organized by a Democrat running for Hilliard City Council and had speakers slated, including the former Ohio Democratic Party chairman. That spokeswoman also added, quote, that doesn't sound like the start of a constructive, nonpartisan conversation. That all spokeswoman also said that Stivers would not be able to attend because of prior commitments on his schedule and late notice. Live in Clintonville, Courtney Yoon, and NBC4. Thanks so much.